Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of the Business State of Tibran, Shushima, Sankia, Kihosa, Sankia, Fulan, Kassana, Suayam, COM, Fellow National Institute of Management, Fellow National Institute of Teachers, Rear Commander, Two Niger Republic, Secretary of Government of Kassana State, Honorable Members of Kassana Executive Council, they are present, Chow Stamp Government House, Heads of Government Persons and Organizations, Chairman, Commonwealth Youth Council, Comrade Ahmad Adam, members of the Council, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, Aslam Alebu. The Excellency Sir, the Chairman of Commonwealth Youth Council, Comrade Ahmad Adam, and members of his Council are here to pay you a courtesy call and to give you respect and regards. Before I invite the Chairman, Your Excellency, to give you a address by meeting me to invite the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Professor Amir Kalukofi, to give us the opening prayer. The excellencies are other protocols that are respected before the chairman of the council gives you the status of excellency. A quickly about the Honorable Commissioner of Police and Sports, Alaji and Nino Ibrahim Sampana, to give the performance of the excellency. Honorable Commissioner, sir. Awazubillahi ibn Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa sallam ala nabi al-Karim. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kassana State, Barrister Brian Shoshema, Sir Kim Yakin Hausa, Sir Kim Flanagan Kassana, Sir Kim Flanagan Musaw, Atta Hoja. The Secretary of the State Government, members of the State Executive Council here present, Permanent Secretaries, the Chairman Commonwealth Youth Council, the Chairman National Youth Council of Kazakhstan State Chapter, members of the entourage of the Chairman, uh, members of the press, good afternoon. Your Excellency, before you hear, we have one of our own, by name Ahmed Adamu, who was just elected last year, late last year, 12 November, to be precise, as the first Chairman of the Commonwealth Youth Council, which is the apex body of youth programs in all Commonwealth countries. This association has membership of about 1.2 billion youth, Your Excellency, so it's the largest in the world. Your Excellency, this election is a great achievement to not only Kazakhstan State, but the nation at large, being the very first Nigerian, in fact, very first person to be elected to chair this council. <laughs> Excellency, the Commonwealth New Council is expected to play a critical role in the advancement of youth development in all the Commonwealth countries. And uh, we are fortunate, because in the stage, to have one of us as the chairman of this great Association or Council. Your Excellency, they came in last week and they had some programs in Abuja. They visited the President and Commander in Chief. They also had a meeting with the Vice President, the Senate President, the Minister of Justice, you know, and what have you. And uh, he felt it deep to, he did a bit to uh, crown it up with a visit to his home base, that is Katana. And uh, we have been able to take them around to some of the projects which we have repeated. And uh, we are here, Your Excellency, to pay a good support to you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before I sit down, let me uh, maybe it may interest you to know that uh, His Excellency is not only a member, but uh, he's a life member, as well as an ambassador of the oldest association in the world, that is, the Royal Commonwealth Society. <laughs> it is my honor and privilege, Your Excellency, to sing your comments, to invite 
the chairman to deliver his address to Excellency. Thank you. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kasna State, Sir Kinyak and Hausa, Sir Kim Flan in Kasna, Dr. Barista Ibrahim Shirishema, members of the State Executive Council, members of the State National Youth Council, other members of youth organizations, civil society organizations, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, good afternoon. Like I was introduced, um, my name is Ahmed Adamu, uh, the chairperson of the Commonwealth Street Council. Uh, as part of introduction, the Commonwealth Street Council is the biggest and largest youth-led organization in the world. It represents more than 1.2 billion young people from 53 Commonwealth nations. And these Commonwealth countries they cut across all the continent we have, from Africa, Europe, Asia, Pacific, Caribbean, and Americas. So this is what makes it the broadest and the largest youth network in the world. It is established by the young people of the Commonwealth, and it was endorsed by the head of governments of all Commonwealth nations. And like the Honorable Commissioner just mentioned, uh, it is established to play an integral role in advancing youth development agenda and coordination of activities and policies within the cover walls in respect to youth development agenda. And it's a network of networks. It's an umbrella that brings together all youth networks, all youth-led initiatives and institutions in the cover walls. It provides the framework and coordination, harmonizes and unites the activities of youth within the cover walls. So it's a represent, uh, representative body of all youth organizations and youth individuals in the Commonwealth. It is equally the most diverse youth organization. And the diversity is what makes it very complex. And that underlines the enormity of the tax that lies on me as a leader of this large number of young people. And um, the victory is indeed to the state that is Katsina State. Because, because I know that I cannot be here if not because of the support I received from the state government. The state government has really invested in me and I remain appreciative of all the support I was given. I remember the first time when Kasna State Government nominated me to represent the good people of Kasna State at the Nigerian Youth Parliament. And that, was a, and that was a platform that introduced me to the activities of the Commonwealth. And now standing leading all the young people in the Commonwealth. So this victory is not to me alone, it's to the State Government, and particularly to you, sir. And, uh, I'm glad to say that you are the first executive governor I've met since my election. And, uh, this is my home. I feel at home. My victory is a success to you, sir, because you made me what I am here. And it's a victory to young people as well, because I believe this will serve as an inspiration. People will look after me and say, how can they be at this level? So young people will be like inspiration to me to the elderly ones, our fathers, who serve as a success, because the success of the child is equally a success to the father. So this is a victory to you, sir, to the entire people of Kasana State. And uh, I'm standing or holding this position, I know that I'm carrying several images. I'm carrying the image of myself. I'm carrying the image of good people of Kasana State. And I'm also equally carrying the image of the whole country, the continent the race, my race as well. So whatever I do in this position will go a long way in defining what sort of young people we have in the United States. If I do well, the whole world will believe that Nigerian young people are good people and are really capable of young, young, people, young people. And that's on the line, the need to work together to all have, to have inclusive support, advice, suggestions on how we can make a big legacy. Being the first person 
in this position. I have nobody to look up to run from what they have done before. I have to set the standard. We have to set the bar high. And that's underlying the need for support advice from you and the third people of this country. And uh, I want to leave a legacy, sir, because whatever I do, like I said, will be remembered for the long time to come. And we set priorities, we set projects and programs that we want to do for young people to develop young people, empower their capacities and skills. So this is the major priorities we are set, we are setting for the Commonwealth Youth Council. Uh, one, one of the priorities is young people empowerment. How do you empower young people? Young people engage in armed robbery, in Boko Haram, and in violence and crisis because they are not empowered, because they are not given the chance to get options, or they are not given the options to choose uh, to earn a living. I, I would like to remember a video I watched on YouTube where a young person was saying that he joined Boko Haram militancy because he needed a job to do, and he didn't have the job. And he joined Boko Haram, and he was given 800,000 naira only, and he started killing people. So this underlines the need to give young people the option to choose whether to join a militancy or to go for a very lucrative skills or entrepreneurship, which I believe the administration is doing well from what we have seen in giving young people opportunity to learn more things. Uh, I want to appreciate you, sir, because it's been more than a year I came to Kazuna, and when I came to the States, I found very amazing and wonderful things happening in the, in the States. And I couldn't even remember that was a state I, I lived before. <laughs> and uh, from the record, we have learned that we have been doing very well, especially in the area of education. The scholarship we gave, the pre primary and secondary school education and provide the payment of uh, Wayek, Neku, and other national families. We had four uh, girls primary schools we established, and all sort of support you give to young people in the area of education. Because education is what makes young people responsible students and empower them. I'm in this position because I went through the educational system. If not because of that, I wouldn't have been here. And this means that education is a priority, which is a priority of the Commonwealth Youth Council as well. So we are sharing common objective here, how to empower young people. And I want to also acknowledge your work and assistance you've been giving to young people in the States. And uh, I want to also mention that in the just tower we had, we have seen some wonderful things. We just visited the huge craft village, the stadium, the Shamodo Stadium, and we went to the new amazing government house. I was really impressed by the kind of skills young people have there. And as, as I'm standing here, I'm wearing a shoe which was made by a student from that uh, huge some of our members here, they all equally have their own uh, share, pair, pair of shoes. So this is a uh, practical evidence of your good work, especially in the area of youth empowerment. And this is what we needed. And I spoke to the young, young people there, I told them that, that you have opportunity to be here because the state government brought you here. And uh, you have to grab the opportunity. And I appreciate the government because if not because of this opportunity, you would have been on the streets, gossiping around, thinking of bad things and maybe engaging in kind of crimes. So state government is engaging young people, giving them the skills and empowering their capacities, tapping their potentials and how to develop the economy of uh, the Kazakhstan state. And there are a lot of uh, achievements you've made ranging from the low model schools you established, which is up to 70 in number. Uh, this, the time will not be enough to mention the wonderful things you have achieved. And we are here equally to congratulate you for all these wonderful achievements and to assure you of our support. And we are confident of your leadership. And the young people will continue to support you and will continue to be, to be there to appreciate your effort. And I'm here personally to seek for your prayers, blessing, and hear your advice and support you and support the Commonwealth Youth Council in achieving our identified goals and objectives. We have set out some projects that we want to do at the Commonwealth Youth Council. And we would like to partner with the Kazakhstan State Government in establishing or implementing these projects. And I will, at the end of my speech, 
I will present His Excellency a copy of this project where we can have a uh, look at the areas where we can work together or partner with the state government in implementing this project. And um, very soon, the Commonwealth Youth Council will be launching youth campaign against election bias. From the record, we have seen how, how young people's lives we are lost in crimes or, or violence associated with general elections. In 2003 elections, more than 100 young, pe young, young people's lives we are lost. And in 2007, more than 300 lives we are lost. And in 2011, more than 800 were lost. So now we are, we are approaching 2015 elections. So the purpose of this campaign is to engage and educate young people on the need to embrace peace and how to train them on the best practice to establish peace and social cohesion during the elections. So we are launching this campaign on 10 days of this month, on three days time in Nigeria, before I leave the country. So this is the first pilot campaign we are launching in Commonwealth County Council, and we are citing it here in Nigeria. And we are equally going to have it in other Commonwealth countries as well. Uh, on the last note, I would like to say that even though the Commonwealth Youth Council, we are not so political, but we have to have concern about the politics and the people in the politics, in the polity, because the people in the politics, they shape, they make decisions that change the lives of young people. The young people, the Commonwealth Youth Council, we identify certain people in leadership who have young, young people at heart, who, who did well in empowering young people, and we identify them, and we support them. And uh, your Excellency, you are one of the such kind that we identify as someone who promotes, who promotes young people's agenda. Because we are not partisan. What we do is we, we identify the progressive minds, people that really do well in developing young people. And we are the one, and that's why the young people are still looking up to you to even a larger task, a larger responsibility more than this. Because we have seen evidently what you have done here in the United States. And we, we hope that the Nigerian, Nigeria and Nigerians in general will benefit from your good uh, qualities and your commitment and leadership if they give you, they give you the chance. We look, we look forward to having you at even larger level, not even in the state, but at Nigeria as much. So finally, sir, I will present the programs and activities of the Commonwealth Youth Council to you. And uh, I hope that with the state government, we can work together. At the end of my tenure, I can say that I have done this, and it was in collaboration with the state government. And it's a legacy to you as well, because my achievement is a great victory to the state to produce the first ever president of the world's largest youth organization. And I want to congratulate you for this achievement. And I would like to take this victory to His Excellency and to the entire young the entire population of the world. Uh, I would like to stop here. I may I present a copy of the public to you, sir?